All right, everyone. The formula for rust can be represented by Fe2O3. How many moles of Fe are present in 24.6 grams of the compound? So we want to know the moles of iron, okay, of only Fe, only iron, if we have 24.6 grams of Fe2O3, of rust. So in this problem, we're going to have to know the percentage of iron in rust. Starting with what the problem gives us, we have 24.6 grams, and that is of Fe2O3, that's of rust. We want moles of iron, so we're going to put over here equals moles of just Fe, just iron. Our first step here is to turn grams of Fe to O3 into just grams of Fe. Or in other words, we're going to need the percent composition of iron in iron oxide. So we have to do a separate calculation here. We need to look at the percent composition of Fe2O3. If we had a mole of rust for iron, that would be two moles of iron, because there's a little two there. And for oxygen, we'd have three, because of the three right there. So if we multiply those by the molar masses of these individual elements, for iron is going to be 55.85, and for oxygen, 16.00, Got those from the periodic table. If we add these masses together, 111.7 grams for iron and 48 grams for oxygen. If we add these together, we get the total molar mass for Fe2O3. 159 .7. Okay. So one mole of iron oxide would be 159.7 grams. Of that, 111.7 grams would be iron. Okay, The other being oxygen. The other 48 grams would be oxygen. So we have the percent of iron in iron oxide. So we're going to put those numbers in our conversion factor up top. So 111.7 grams of iron is in 159.7 grams of rust, of iron oxide, Fe2O3. It's about 70%. So we're essentially multiplying here 24.6 grams by 70% to get iron. And then, canceling out our units, grams of Fe2O3 would be gone. Okay. Now we have just grams of iron but they want moles. So we need to convert to moles. So another conversion factor, grams of Fe on the bottom, moles of Fe on top. For one mole of iron, we've already used this number, that's 55.85 grams. So that goes on the bottom. Canceling out our units, grams of Fe, cancel, grams of Fe, okay, one on top, one on bottom, so they cancel out. So doing our math here, we would do in our calculator 24.6 times 111.7 divided by 159 .7 times 1, but doesn't change it, so then just divided by 55.85 equals 0 0.308, right around there. So in the end, 24.6 grams of iron oxide, how many moles of 
only iron would that be? be 0 0.308. All right, everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.